The New AIDS Political Declaration is an economic approach based on human rights and the SDGs. It will define who lives and who dies, so it is time to stop austerity policies that only feed inequalities. Countries should commit to improve their resource mobilization through a progressive taxation frameworks, including financial transaction taxes and selective tax mechanisms. They must end corporate tax abuse, tax avoidance and evasion that drain key resources to address health, gender and race inequalities. For the multilateral bodies match their previous commitments, all countries should retain maximum policy flexibility in their trade and investments, implementing policies based on their needs, including by using TRIPS flexibilities. Cash transfer, full access to mental health, IT technologies, and social protection also should be included in the tax as essential to women and girls, transgender and gay people, people who use drugs and sex workers that, by the way, we hope to see recognized in this new declaration. The reality is that the AIDS responses are collapsing due to the COVID-19 crisis and millions of people living with or vulnerable to HIV do not have access to water, sanitation, food or vaccines. And this is the case of Brazil, for instance, which response to the COVID pandemic is a complete disaster. So social equity must be the entry point to the financing architecture on AIDS, with our communities at the center of decisions and community-led responses being fully funded. After all, the economic policies must exist to provide the necessary conditions for human and planet health and well-being, not the other way around. Yes, with responsibility, we can end AIDS, and we hope you can agree with that. Thank you, Member States. Thank you, UNAIDS. Together, we will end AIDS.